since we're nervous talking in front of people and really? look at me now. It, it, it completely changed my career. <laughs> Allspace has given me the opportunity to be connected to people from all around the world. We've done a lot of really cool immersive theater. It has enabled me to build these amazing worlds. It's given me a glimpse into the future of what it is to be social. We come together here, we build, we tell stories. It's saved my life. It's made it broader and more beautiful. Uh, it's where I started my 3D journey. It's the community that has been built here. A place to find meaning in the metaverse. I have changed as a personality. Hosting events was amazing. It was perfect in all of its glitchy ways. Everybody's so loving and giving and really has given their shirt off their back. What I'm going to miss about Altspace is being able to spot a flight tool and just fly. The thing that I'm going to miss about Altspace is just the community and the collaborations I experienced while I was here. I'll miss the laughs, the events, the parties, the shows, and so much more. I will miss you, Altspace. Thank you for the amazing memories. Which means in my native language, I love you. I love you. I miss you. But I know we're all going to create together again soon. Bye, Altspace. Mwah. Thank you, Altspace, for the amazing memories. You made me laugh. Oh. You made me dance. Goodbye, Altspace. We'll be forgotten by some, but not by us. And to all those people I was able to meet in here and share so many experiences with, I thank you for all of it. Thank you, Altspace. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting all of your help. We want to have a moment of silence at seven minutes past. Oh, yeah. So everybody raise your hand when it's time for us to have a moment of silence. Um, but I just want to talk about really quickly about, sorry, that video is making me cry. Um, so I just want to talk about that I'm so very grateful that we as a community have been able to re-come back together again. But I don't know about you, when we got that notification on January 20th, mm -hmm. I was heartbroken. And I think all of us were panicking and we didn't know what to do because I built six worlds and they disappeared. They were gone. Um, and, and I know a lot of you all, there's a lot of you also build worlds that you built that never survived the shutting down of alt space. And so Oops. we want to acknowledge the fact that we are here still, like look around you, look around the names and the faces. We haven't disappeared. All space may be gone, but we're still here. We're still here across the metaverse, not just here. And basically, um, I just wanted to thank you guys all for coming. Um, Timo and I put a lot of love and effort. We slammed this world out in three weeks um, because it was a labor of love from all of us to you. Okay. It's our love letter to the all space community. If you start Sorry. Turn your name back. And um, we just wanted to thank you. You guys are amazing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, and I'm just so grateful, and I'm just so grateful that all of you who brought worlds Hello? over from all space here to VR chat so we can oh, visit them again. It. I'm so sorry. This is oh, why we created it.
Hi. Hug. This is hug, why hug, we hug. created this. <laughs> so we could have a place where we it could keep it keeps me off shot if something for me. I'm going to I'm going to just try lowering the frame and lowering the the, the, the resolution so it's a little bit. I definitely need that. Oh, sorry, Sando, sorry. Shut up. So I just wanted to say thank you. Are we at time? I just don't know. Are we getting close? Five minutes. Um, um, how are we at time, guys? Somebody yeah, one, minute. Time five one, minute. Five one minute. One minute. One oh six. One minute. We have one minute. Oh, one one minute. minute. One minute. One minute. Like, right raise now. your hands wow. when it's a, at time, and we'll take like a moment of silence. But thank you for putting then, this world together. You rock. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. 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 Long live the all space community. So I think there just needs to be silence. I got us, we just did the moment of silence. Okay, great. Sorry about that. We just did the moment of silence and so uh hopefully you guys can all hear Athena. And uh, and I think now so we're going to have some people. Hey, yeah, Athena. Turn, you up. turn up the voices on your. Um, That's right, you just select turn, uh, select on to Athena and turn her volume up, everybody. Oh, I know. And nobody uh, even cloned. I have my volume turned up all the way. No, I mean, so like, because they have I, here, as far so. as I can go. I can't hear. Yeah. 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 Select your sure. instrument. Mustang. Can you hear me? Yeah, select me and turn me up. Yeah. Turn me on, baby. I'm going to go a little bit forward. We're talking again. Okay. We can't hear her if we hear you. Too low. Okay. Someone's breathing in there. Okay. Yeah. Hit the mute button. Woo! In that very moment when the video started, my entire system froze, and then uh, VR chat closed. And it was like the moment when all space stopped, and I was disconnected from everybody. And it reminded me so much of what we went through one year ago in this very moment. Crazy. Um, but it was almost like it was meant to be. Like that was what was supposed to happen. And as we keep saying, VR TBR, sometimes glitching, always bitching. <laughs> but I, but I wanted to say to all of you, I spent some time last night after being in here and seeing all of the wonderful worlds and spending some time crying. That, and I wrote, I wrote some words that I wanted to read to you. And I, and I said that, you know, as we gather today to mark the one-year memorial of the sunsetting of Alt Space VR, I wanted to take a moment to express my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you for being here, for putting on your Alt Space avatar, for your presence that means more than words can convey. And at the moment that we're informed of the sun setting, that will always linger in my mind, but not as strongly as the last moment when we were all together on the all space platform. And then in the blink of an eye, at seven minutes past the hour, we were separated, alone in our homes. 
So reflecting on the past year, it's undeniable that the birthal of our church community has been a challenging that the void left by the closure of our virtual space has been deeply felt. And for many of us, myself included, it's been a journey marked by moments of profound sadness and even depression. That depression prevented from jumping onto the VR chat platform and playing with all of you this past year. I'm back. However, amidst the pain, there's a silver lining that emerges when all of us come together like this, and a reminder that the bonds we forged in all three are remain strong. And our team has been busy this year building a new home for VRCDAR. A lot of people keep asking us, and we hope to launch later this year. So make sure you're on our email list or on our socials, and we will tell you the what, the when, and, and the why. So today we honor the memories we shared and the connections we made. Let us also celebrate the resilience of, of our community. Together we've weathered the storm and in doing so, we've shown that our spirit cannot be extinguished by mere circumstance. So thank you for being a part of this journey, for your unwavering support in community and for your love and kindness that we've shown each other and myself getting on this platform. Let's continue to cherish the moments that the memories that we've created and look forward to the future <clears throat> and hope with hope and optimism. So I know we've already done our moment of silence, but if you would like to just do it one more time for me, what I was asking is that you fill your mind with your favorite memories and to take a moment, quietly reflect on those. What were your favorite moments and memories and people and circumstances and glitches you had on Alt Space VR? From the very beginning, when we were robots Ew. and little Lego creatures, <laughs> to when we got these astonishing avatars that always had the ability to look you in the eye. Let's just take 30 seconds to remember those moments. Everyone can take a deep breath in and sigh out. Oh. <sighs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Now, I'd like to invite a few people to come up and. And if you would like one of those people, if you could sort of gather to this side of the stage. My right side, left, um, and I will call you up. Uh, but the first person I'd Sherry like to call and is Sherry. Sherry and Mason. Sherry <clears throat> will be the first person up, or Mason, whoever gets. There we go. Fantastic. Is that Retta and Mason? Hey, everybody. Um, sorry. <clears throat> Mm, I'm a little choked up myself here. I'll try to make it through without crying. Oh, wow. <laughs> As you guys know, I'm an emotional person. Mm, um, I am so mm, happy and grateful go to Timo and Quiet. to... Hold on. Uh oh Quiet. Oh, no. He's <laughs> 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 uh -oh. <laughs> I'll start, I'll start. Oh my 
my God. <laughs> okay. So first of all, I just want to say thank you to Timo and Suri, uh, Ollie, uh, and anybody else who helped on this. You guys did an absolute phenomenal, phenomenal job. And you've brought us all back memories like you wouldn't believe. So thank you guys for your hard work for the last three weeks. Um, so my all space journey began what four and a half years ago with the little go. Remember the little go with just the one little handle, <laughs> the one little stick. <laughs> so that lasted for me for about two weeks um, because I was friends with Maria and a bunch of people who all had the Oculus. You know, I didn't have that. So like in Daisy's World, the first place, Grand Canyon. They're all flying through with their with their little fancy sticks, and I'm just putting along like this while they're all flying. So that lasted about two weeks, and I said, screw that. I went about the Oculus just for the flight sticks. Only reason. Only reason I bought that. So I can keep up, so I can keep up with everybody else. So, and then, Worth it. And then we... You, you guys all know what I'm famous for. You know, my ABs. Well, that all started because of uh, Cards Against Humanity. All because the one card, you know, that, that I'm going to say it, that Anal Beats card was the player card. And that's where that all started for the last four years. So, you know, I, contrary to belief, I do not have a dresser full full of those at my house. Maybe one or two. <laughs> but those were sent to me from all of you guys. <laughs> so, but my journey with the doppelgangers began because um, it was just uh, one of our friends, uh, Healy Case. He was, we were like, one day he just changed in and then we all changed and. We just decided it'd be kind of fun to start doing some world tours that way because we used to always go on about. And so then it just became a thing with the old avatars, you know, the skinny little ones like this that we that I used to have. It was easy to do. And when it, we had this one, it was very easy to change for the doppelgangers. <laughs> The old school one. This was easy. This was easy. This was easy when we had this one. This was easy, man, to change. But, you know, going into these, it was a lot harder for doppelgangers to do every single thing. We only did it once in a while where we completely change and look identical. And those are on very special occasions. Um, but thank you for my doppelganger community, for everybody sticking by me for the last four and a half years. I love doing birthday parties and Christmas parties and all of those events. And I couldn't have done them without the help of my sidekick, Maria and Luke, and other people. My friend Simon Simsimmer was my very first friend on Allspace. He showed me around. He helped me and everybody else who helped me with templates and worlds and things like that to help me. I could never have done the parties and the doppelgangers and things like that without my friends in this community. So thank you all. Thank you all for loving me. Mm. I appreciate it and love you all. So thank you guys. And let's have many more years of fun. Many more years of fun. All right. Thank Bless you. you all. Love you. Thank you. <laughs> love, love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. I first oh, discovered Alt Space during the pandemic oh. lockdown. When I got a Quest 2, uh, just to play some games, and then when the world opened up, I thought, okay, it'd be over. I'd, I'd, I'd mm -hmm. be done with VR. It'd be a passing mm -hmm. phase. Um, and then when I got the headset, right. I heard right. about so, CES yeah. and how they were having part of it in virtuality, and it was in this and you can app called Allspace. So I thought I'd check it out. Um, after the event, they had an after party, and I was just fascinated by how People were talking and having really interesting conversations about technology and software, hardware. And so I came back the next night and I found there, there's so many more events going on. And that first month felt like the first time I went on and the, it felt like the first time I went on a cruise ship and looked at the uh, their agenda, their schedule. There's so many things going on all at the same time. There was no way I could see it all. And <clears throat> when I 
<laughs> talk to friends and family, I realized that while they and the rest of the world were just um, spending their time in social isolation, not being around other people, for me, I was going to improv, game shows, poetry readings, uh, jazz clubs, karaoke, museum tours, rap battles, creative writing classes, meditation groups, philosophical debates, um, attending Broadway-style musical uh, performances, and then, of course, um, the virtual uh, burn. And the biggest surprise to me was when I learned that all of these things, events, a world, they, they weren't built by, and put on by Microsoft. They were put on by um, just just regular people. And when Microsoft got rid of their uh, kits for a while, um, people were panicking. And I had a friend, it was CompuBear, that came to me, and she was saying that she was moving into a new house and it felt like she had been ransacked. All of her things were gone, and she was so depressed. And, and so I thought, Wait a minute! I know programming. I could do something. I could I could learn about um, building things, and that's when I started building kits. And and also at that moment, I realized something very special about All Space VR. It was the community, people supporting each other, coming together, kind of like uh, how I got motivated to to build the kits. And that's what I'll miss most about it is those late nights. Just anytime I want, dropping into. Um, worlds, and it'll be like dropping into the back lot of Hollywood studio after hours, listening to people plan events and just talk about world building and shaders and everything, and just seeing the community in action. And so that's why I'm in this most. And that's yeah. I just want to thank everyone for that. So yeah. Thank you, Mason. We have a lot of people that want to talk, so uh, to get through them, if everybody could say like two, three minutes, and then we'll everyone can talk, and then obviously I'm going to bring mm -hmm. up Serene Liminal and Kimo to talk about the world as well. But first, we're going to start with I am Compu Bear. Come on up. Thank you, Fina.